Yo, Joe, what up, American Heroes? This is Sean Long of the Transformers Matrix bringing another G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra movie toy review. This time at the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra movie G.I. Joe mobile pit base. Now, this baby is freaking huge. It's a play set for 334 fence G.I. Joes. Show you how big it is. Here he is next to Supreme Devastator. And you can see here that um, in its mobile pit uh, mode that it's a little bit smaller than Supreme Devastator but wait till it's extended to the full place and one thing I have to reiterate is that this thing comes with a lot of stickers and a lot of pieces to assemble you have to either be a hardcore G.I. Joe collector or older kid to really appreciate this because this thing took about six hours to fully assemble and to put on all the stickers but it is absolutely amazing you can see all the detail it has on here with all the different stickers and the railings on here with the missile launchers. It has those searchlights that do fully rotate and do uh, go up and down. This thing is covered with different pegs and has a helicopter landing for if you have little JoJo aircraft. This thing has a rotating satellite here which is really cool for JoJo defense systems. This has rotating turrets on both sides of it. This has a lot of G.I. Joe symbols back here. By the way, this actually does roll and stuff, so if you do have it in this mold, it does roll. And that's pretty good with its big old plastic tires. Here's a look at all the different details on here. Here's the back. This is the back of the pit right here. It's just really nicely detailed all around. This little piece on the front here actually opens up, and look, it comes with a General Hawk figure that it comes with comes with two different driver seats and actually has handles in here and pretty nice detail inside there can fit two uh, G.I. Joe's in here. The General Hawk figure is very nicely detailed. It definitely looks like Dennis Quaid has really good detail. The G.I. Joe symbol right here has his hat with also the G.I. Joe symbol. Um, very nice black outfit and cool pants. Articulation General Hawk's head can rotate 360 degrees as well as go up and down. His arms can rotate 360 degrees and go in and out. Bend at the elbow, rotate 360 degrees at the elbow, rotate 360 degrees at the wrist, rotate 360 degrees at the upper abs. He can go forward and back, in and out, bend at two points in the knee, and his uh, feet can rotate 360 degrees. Really cool since there's little tabs on all these places you can take your G.I. Joes, and you can peg them in with place on different spots in this pit. This is General Hawk and I'm King of the World! You can also place one of your Joes on the missile turret here, which does rotate which is really cool so if they want to blow up some Cobras. There's also this uh, launchable missile launcher right here which actually does fire. Press this button and it actually does fire. Whoa, crap. Alright guys, it's time to transform this into the mobile pit base. What you're going to do is you're going to take this handle here. You're going to lift this up. You can hear the sounds going on here. Part on the back you want to keep down. And you're bringing this forward. This will lock into place here. You're going to take these parts on the top and bring them out like this. And take these side pieces and bring them out all the way. So here's the pit mobile base when it's fully extended. Start with the top here. You already know all those cool features right here. And look, it comes with a ping pong table. We can see that the Duke and Cobra Commander are having a ping pong uh, game for who wins the world. If you notice right there, the ping pong paddles have little Cobra insignias with a cross over them, which is a really cool touch. Seems like I win again, Cobra Commander. You will never defeat Cobra, Duke. Cobra will reign supreme. Best two out of three. It was back here, you can see here's a little extendable uh, ladder bridge thing, so if you have like a little table, it can stand out here. Oh, and wait, there's more. You can extend out little ladders here for the ladies. There's also a cool little trap door here if you open this up. Bring this up. And look, there's ripcord coming from the elevator here, which I'll show the next feature here. It does have a working elevator right here, so you can bring ripcord down. Hey, ripcord, is this the right floor? Oh yeah. It's also cool is you can drop in one of your Cobra figures right here and drop in like Zartan right here. And when you drop him in... Oh no, he's prisoner! Cobra Commander, help get me out of here! Sorry Zartan, I'm in the middle of a ping pong game. But don't fret, Zartan can easily break out of here because G.I. Joe has crappy security. So you can break out here, ready to take over as president. <laughs> you can notice all the little um, details here with all the different stickers here. This section over here has some really cool cardboard cutouts. It looks like boxes and 
G.I. Joe things. You got Snake Eyes and Storm Shell battling out right there. It's really cool if you push in this area right here. You got G.I. Joe resting area complete with beds and locker rooms. You can notice my stuff stay out. You can open this up and see there's Bazooka's jersey over there and there's a cool little picture. Also little details in here. There's like a little kitchen sink right in there if you can notice that. The beds here are really cool so you can have your G.I. Joe sleeping or not sleeping. <laughs> on this side of the wall you can see all the cool rocky um, area of this side. You can tell it's underground mobile pit. You got snake eyes here. These walls right here are actually breakaway so you can recreate the mole pod scene part or you can just have a cobra surprise snake eyes here. Hello brother. And behind the mobile pit here we got this little section here. We got a little scuba gear. We got a little jet sticker that says keep on fighting which is really cool. Got the little infirmary ward with a little computer base and oxygen tank and fire extinguisher. You can see Snake Eyes, he has a little bed for him so he can rest after his storm shell fight. The little area here for a little computer screen if the Joes just want to watch ESPN or M MTV Cartoon Network or whatever they want to do. And look on the top here it says, knowing is half the battle. And the other half is knowing where the remote is. Oh Snake Eyes, you were hurt in that last battle with storm shell. Here I got something for you. The pit also comes with four of these cardboard boxes which you have like your little storm shell just hi -ya, ya ya Pretty nice detail around and pretty durable. It's really cool this place is full of little trap doors for weapon storage here. You can keep little weapons in here. And then there's this big old one which you open up here. And you actually have storage here like a little briefcase for uh, Mars Industries. Uh, it doesn't have Mars Industry, but I put a little uh, caution sticker. It has a little nano mine containers. They're not painted, but the green ones that come with G.I. Joe figures you put in here. The G.I. Joe rifle here you can keep. A General Hall comes with two different rifles and a gun here. He also comes with a G.I. Joe coffee mug, so when he's not fighting, you can enjoy a nice cup of Joe. Yo, Joe, this coffee is delicious. The best part of waking up. And then the last part here has to be the cool little computer command center part, which you can actually press the button or the keyboard here, and it has sounds. Welcome to the pit. Intruder alert. Code red. Code red. Prisoner has escaped. Duke, please report to level 2 security checkpoint. Snake Eyes, please report to base level G1. Wherever there's trouble, G.I. Joe is there. So, but in here it has a little alarm sound. <laughs> The Pit Mobile Base is an amazing place. It, it is a hundred bucks, but it's well worth it. So much playability factor. You got uh, sounds, you got tons of room for all your G.I. Joes. This thing can hold, I think like it's like 40 or 60 figures. It's, it's tons of figures and tons of accessories. And you get the General Hawk figure. I say this is a must have for any G.I. Joe fan, especially if you like the Rise of Cobra. Or you can use your 25th anniversary figures for this. This is just an amazing place and I highly, highly recommend them. Hope you guys enjoyed my reviews. Stay tuned for more G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like and this is Sean Long rolling out. I beat you again, Cobra Commander. No, not again, Cobra!